What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I scored on the 98th percentile on the PCAT and how you guys can do just as well on the PCAT exam. So a quick background again about myself. I'm currently a P3 or what we like to call third year in pharmacy school at the USC School of Pharmacy. I recently finished my master's program also at the USC School of Pharmacy. And the reason I created this YouTube channel is to help those who also wish to pursue a career in pharmacy and also just to talk more about topics in healthcare as a whole. So there's two main things I'm going to talk to you guys about today. The first one is I'm going to detail how I studied for the PCAT and my study habits when it came to preparing for the exam. And two, I'm going to tell you guys about the materials that I use to study for the PCAT and which materials I think is best to prepare you for the exam. So before I start, I wanted to show you my actual PCAT score. I wasn't able to find my score through my files or my documents, so I actually had to go back to, I believe it was Pearson, and reorder my test for $20. But here it is. So I got a 451 in verbal ability, 435 in biological processes, 410 in critical reading, 453 in quantitative reasoning, 463 in chemical processes, and my overall composite score was 440, which amounts to about 98th percentile on the PCAT. Uh, my writing was 3.5, and my mean, oh, correction, that's the mean score for writing. My score was just slightly above the mean, not by much. My writing's not that great. But anyways, here it goes. So for the PCAT, I self-studied. I did not enroll in a course. I did not attend any online lectures for the PCAT. What I did is I bought the materials and I went to the library every day for about two to four hours a day over the course of a summer. So that's about three months of studying. And I took the PCAT in October, right when school started. So basically, just to reiterate, I studied over the course of a summer every day and I took the test right when school started. Studying for the PCAT was very difficult. And what I mean by difficult was I studied for the PCAT in sunny Santa Barbara, California. Every day the weather was so nice. All my friends were going out. Everybody was going to have fun. Everybody was going out to party. But me, I couldn't do that because I had to cram for the PCAT and I had to make sure I got everything down. So I remember there were days when I would go out with my friends, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink or anything. I would stay sober just so I could go to the library, lock myself in a room and just really get down and focus. And what made it extra hard was, was that this was summer. So nobody was at school. So there were times when I would go to the library and it would be empty and I would just be there by myself head in my books, just studying. So that's what made this process so hard for me. So there were two main materials that I used to study for the PCAT. The main one that I used was Dr. Collins. 99% of my study came from Dr. Collins. And honestly, if you only had time to study off of one material, just use Dr. Collins. You can't go wrong with it. A lot of people studying for the PCAT use Dr. Collins, and as far as I can tell, they've all got pretty great results. And the way Dr. Collins is broken down was really nice and straightforward and really easy to follow if you're trying to study for the PCAT. They have different sections in Dr. Collins for each respective section in the PCAT exam. So for example, there, there's a biology section in the PCAT exam. Dr. Collins had a section of practice materials just for biology. And in those packets, uh, let's just take biology for example again, they would have a packet of review material for biology and also about nine or 10 practice tests for biology. So what I did was I went through each practice test one by one and I would, I would honestly do it. I wouldn't look at any answers on Google or from my textbooks. I would honestly do it and see what I knew. And the answers that I got wrong, I would put them in a Quizlet 
And I would quiz myself every day until I understood it. And when I understood one practice set of questions, when I fully understood it, then I would move to the next set of practice questions. So for each section of the Dr. Collins practice questions, I would make a respective Quizlet section that goes along with it. So I really forced myself to study and memorize the topics. Uh, for example, this is one Quizlet question that I made in the biology section. Uh, the question was, describe the process of the blood returning from the body. That was one of my Quizlet questions. And on the flip side, here's my answer. Uh, it first flows through the right atria, then through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle, and finally through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary arteries to continue to the lungs. So this is an example of the depth of answers that you should know for the test if you want to do well, if you want to do above the 90th percentile. Uh, another example of some of the Quizlet questions that I made were from my vocab section. Uh, in total, for my vocab section, I made about 689 vocab terms, as you can see on the bottom. Uh, one of my example vocab words would be obstinate, and on the flip side, it would mean stubborn. So I would just really quiz myself every day uh, using these Quizlet flashcards. So again, just to reiterate how I studied using Dr. Collins, I really didn't look at the, the review sheets that they gave you in Dr. Collins that much until I needed it. First thing I focused on the most was the practice sets, the practice problems. Those are so useful when it comes to studying for the PCAT. I went through the practice problems. I made sure I understood each question down to its very core. And once I understood one practice set, I would move on to the next practice set. The second study material that I use was Kaplan. It comes in this thick book that has, it's actually a really great review. It has really useful information, but I really didn't use Kaplan to read the book. The only reason I bought the Kaplan review for a PCAT was because they had a couple practice tests that came with the book. And, and the practice test for the Kaplan review was a pretty good gauge of how you're going to do on the actual PCAT. I remember I took the practice test for the Kaplan book and I got above a 90th percentile and I, I took it a few times. And on my actual test, I, I also got, you know, 98th percentile. So I, to me, I believe that was a really great review. Oh, and before I go any further, one thing I forgot to add. So I bought the Kaplan book for the practice test. Before I even started studying for the PCAT, I used, I took one of the practice tests from the Kaplan book, the review book for the PCAT. And I took it, my score was abysmal. I believe I got in the 60th percentile, the first time I took the PCAT, and this is without studying. And then about a month or two later, after I felt a little bit more prepared, I retook that same Kaplan test to see how I would do again. And I did significantly better. So I would recommend before you even start studying for the PCAT, take a practice exam, see how you do. And then take that same practice exam a month or two later and see how your progress is. And then you can know your weak points and you can know what you wanna work on and what you, what you, where you need to go from there essentially. Another tip that I have is for the essay section of the PCAT. I remember the prompt for the PCATs were all very similar. It asks you to solve some sort of issue, asks you to fix something that was wrong with society. If I remember correctly, my prompt for the actual PCAT asks us to help the, the inmates uh, say, so you have these inmates, they go to prison for some reason, and then now they get let out of prison. And what should you do to help prevent them from going back into prison and to prevent them from doing any uh, bad stuff to society again? And there's one answer that I realize answers 90% of the prompts that the PCAT gives you. And the one answer that I use was education. Just keep that in mind when it comes to the essay portion of the PCAT. Literally, the answer, if you say educate, it answers so many of the prompts. Like, how do you solve this? Oh, you educate the right people in the right way to solve an issue. So for example, for the inmate question, I would say, oh, I would educate the inmates on how to um, become, assimilate themselves back into society again. I would educate them and teach them the necessary skills to become useful members in society. Just remember, educate. That is 
an answer to so many of the prompts for the essay portion of the PCAT. That's, you heard from me? That's, that's, my, that's my trick. My last bit of advice is to try to not write on your practice materials that much. Uh, for example, I didn't write on my Kaplan book that much. I was able to let my friend use it later on or, or resell it somewhere else. But these books are pretty pricey. I've included links down below if you wanted to buy uh, similar books that I used when I studied. I found them to be very helpful and I truly believe these books combined with my study habits is what led me to get into the 98th percent that percentile. And I believe you can do the same thing. You guys are all smart, I know it. Finally, I just wanna conclude, I just wanna give you uh, an ex my personal experience of what it was like when I received, when I finished the PCAT, essentially. Because right when you finish the PCAT, they print out a score for you when you walk back up to the front. So I was able to take my test, really long test, and go back up and, and I got my score right away. And it was honestly one of the best feelings of my life because I studied all summer for this test and it all paid off because I saw my score it was, it was a good score, I was really happy with it, and I was literally grinning from ear to ear. It was one of the happiest feelings of my life. I know, I know, I, I got a good grade on the test. Uh, happiest feeling of my life, I know, it's whatever. It makes me happy, I don't care. Um, oh, also, yeah, and then once I saw my score, the first two people that I called were my mom and my best friend from undergrad, and it was just a happy feeling all around, and I was able to relax, and I knew I was gonna get into pharmacy school somewhere at that point, because uh, you know, worst case scenario, PCAT's a good backup. Uh, it's a good grade to have. As always, if you like my channel, feel free to like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and comment below on what other topics you would like me to talk about. Um, or I'm just going to keep on talking about what I want to talk about. Whatever. But this is a very new channel. Um, so any help is appreciated. Any feedback is appreciated. Thanks for your time, guys. Good luck on your PCAT. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can message me in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to them on any study tips or pharmacy school in general. All right, take care.